What is up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Board Games are for everybody, where today we're going to be talking about Dice Ball. Now, this is this is something a little bit more my speed. We've been covering a lot of newer games lately. This is something like pre '90s, which is like right in my right in my range of games. Uh, anything pre '90s, early 2000s, that's uh, that's my that's kind of my jam. So today we're talking about Dice Ball. Uh, this one was released in 1991. And for anyone who is quite astute to box covers, you will realize that this is a baseball game that uses dice. Now, we are missing a hand, uh, some pieces for this. Luckily, none of the pieces you actually need to play the game. However, we are missing... Uh, we were missing the dice. We were missing literally every die that was in the game. But luckily, we have a bunch of dice. So I put six into the into the box because you're only ever going to need six dice at a time for this game. The game originally came with 12 dice, which is just mind blowing. It also came with those, um, like dice rolling cups that you would use for like liars dice or something like that. But those weren't, uh, super necessary. You didn't really need those. Uh, what we do have in the box here though, is we have this little token that represents the uh, baseball that just comes into the center place in the pitching mound here and we've also got our player tokens for each side just kind of basic player tokens here in both blue and in yellow the most uh baseball -y colors out there is blue blue and yellow i guess are there any blue and yellow baseball teams i i will admit i'm not particularly up to date with my uh baseball jersey colors uh i know the toronto blue jays are blue and white or occasionally red and white or occasionally gray <laughs> um but that's only because you know i'm in canada and they're you know the only <laughs> the only canadian baseball team in a completely american league so we have no choice but to but to root for them so for this baseball game, we're going to be playing the Toronto Blue Jays in t Team Blue here versus, uh, are the Pittsburgh Pirates still, are they still yellow? Were the Pittsburgh Pirates ever yellow? I think the Pittsburgh Pirates were actually used to be gray. Now that I think about it, the last time I would have, would have played baseball, the last time anything baseball related with the Pittsburgh Pirates would have been when I played MLB 2001 on the original PlayStation, but we're getting sidetracked here. These are going to be the Pittsburgh Pirates. And if uh, the Pittsburgh Pirates aren't yellow, then I guess we're going to go with the Pittsburgh Penguins. The hockey guys play baseball, right? <laughs> we're going with the Pittsburgh Pirates. So we have um, our dice ball uh, score sheet here. Apparently this is the expert play section. Um, this is the regular PlayStation. Uh, we've got our home and visitor. We've got our nine innings with three whole extra innings. Isn't that fun? I mean, nowadays, if you go into extra innings, you are going into extra innings. There have been games that have gone on like three hours after the game has ended based on, uh, just both teams not being able to score. But yeah, that's that's our score sheet over there. Standard uh, baseball stuff, you know, nine nine innings, visitor, home, you're keeping score uh, of who scores, basically. So the way that the game works is that each team is going to... We're just going to throw everyone into the batting thing here. We're going to throw our one player on the batting zone. And um, it doesn't really matter where yellow goes. We're just going to make things thematic and kind of throw them around here. Uh, the outfield does kind of matter because these green spots here will come into play in just a second, as you will see. And I usually just put the last guy on the pitcher mound. Usually seems the best way to do it. So what we're going to be doing is going through the quick start guide here. This is the, like, this is great for this game because not only does this game have so many, like, die variations... But um, games in general that have quick starts, it, thumbs up. Big thumbs up from me on quick starts. Because the original uh, instruction book here is like 
a mini novel. It is, well, it's only like 15 pages, but 19 pages, sorry. It's 19 pages. Anytime your rule book needs a table of contents, that rule book is too long for me. That rule book is too long for me. So we're playing a very, very standard baseball here. Basically, the way the game works is that whoever the pitching team is, is going to roll one die. Uh, and those rolls are going to correlate with these die rolls up here on our defense side. So if we roll a one, it is a strike on a swing. If we roll a two or a three, it's a foul ball, which also counts as a strike. If we roll a four or a five, it's a ball. Or if we hit a six, the ball has been hit. And that's when things get really exciting is when we get that six. So the uh, defensive player is going to roll their die. We get a five. That is a ball. So we are at one ball, no strikes for the Toronto Blue Jays here. So we're going to drop our die. Every video we drop something, it happens. We're going to roll our die here. Another five. That's two balls, no strikes. A three, that is a foul ball, so we're now at two balls, one strike. A four is another ball. That's three balls, one strike. And we got another four, so Toronto Blue Jay number one here is going to be going over to first base on balls. Grab this dice down here. And then we start up on the next batter, and we keep going around until either we get three outs or... We get a hit. There's the six. This is when things get, get exciting, guys. So once you roll a six, you are now playing as the batter. What you want to do when you roll that six is you are going to take a single die. You're going to roll it, and based on whatever the number of your roll is, that's how many dice you're going to take in order to roll. Now, depending on what number you get is where you end up on the field. So we have 6, 10, 14, 16. And I know it's going to be a little hard to see here, but you will find 16. Where will I find 16? Right here. So we're going to take our ball icon. We're going to place it on the 16 in the outfield here. And this is actually perfect because it's going to allow us to explain this mechanic here. So now that we have the ball in the outfield, our players got to start running bases. And this is where players start going against each other. This is a back and forth. Each player is going to gain one die. And they're going to roll that die. So going back and forth, starting with the hitting player, we're going to take a roll. And we're going to have to move whatever our die roll is on these red spaces right here. So both players are going to move three spaces here. Now our yellow player is going to roll his die. And he rolled a four. So because we're in the outfield here, we need to go down this green track, this kind of zigzaggy track here, in order to run for this ball. So this gives our guys a good chance to actually get to the base. So we're going one, two, three, four, five, Six, we're gonna we're gonna try and push. We're gonna try and get a double here. So we're going one, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna see how this goes. So our outfielder now rolling. Ooh, he also got a six. So he's going one, two, three, four, five, six. He's now on the ball. So from this point, he's gonna start trying to throw to a base. So let's see what we're just dropping everything today. That's probably really loud too. Oh, that's all the way over there. Okay. So let's see what our uh, infielders get here three so one two three we are now past the point of no return because we have hit these red circles here we are not allowed to start running backwards had we stopped on one of these green circles three spaces past the base we could have changed our mind and started running back to first base if we thought that we weren't going to make it but we're going to risk it for the biscuit. This is baseball, guys. We're going to we're going to take the risk. So now, we have our yellow player who has the ball and is now going to start fielding. So, he's going to roll the die. He only gets a 1. So, what's going to happen is he needs to oh, well, he only has one choice from here. But as you can see on the outfield here, we have all these different baseballs, and that is where each space of the die roll is going to end up. So, this baseball is currently traveling through the air while these guys are running to uh, 
try and get to base. So one, two, three, four. We're going to stop on four here. Second base is, uh, he's not going to risk it. However, this third base here, one, two, three, four, five, six, he's going to risk it to go for home. He might get a three base run here. That would be pretty dang good. So we're now roll, uh, rolling back to the outfielder here who now has the ball in control. So we're going to end up throwing to uh, second base here who now has a choice of, well, second base isn't going anywhere. Our guy on second is done. So he's now going to be trying to get this guy at home play it, played out unless he decides to start going backwards. So we now have to follow these baseballs here to get to the uh, to get to home plate. However, unfortunately, what we need to do is we need to throw to another person who can throw it to home plate because second base does not have a straight track here from uh, from home plate. So what we'd have to do is we had one movement coming to second here. And then we can either go one, two to come here, kind of making our way to home uh, to the pitcher, or we can go one, two and bring it to first, which is probably what we're going to do. And then first is going to try and get it to home here, but they're going to need to roll a five to be able to get it to home. Now, at this point, we're going to roll for the Blue Jays here and they can determine if because we're still on the green spots here, if they want to go back to third base or if they want to try and get to home plates. Now with a three, one, two, three, we would only need to roll a three to get into home plate and score that run. However, if the opponent, one, two, three, four, five, manages to roll a five on this next roll, or we get bad rolls going here, they're gonna get us out. But like I said it before, this is baseball. We gotta risk it for the biscuit. We are now past the point of no return, past that red spot on uh, between third and home. So we're now on to the defense. Once again, they roll a four. So first base is gonna be throwing it towards home plates. It's so close to home plates, but we're gonna have to see what, uh, we're gonna have to see what, uh, the Blue Jays get here. Oh, they only get a two. The Blue Jays only got a two. They are one space away from home plates. And the defense has the roll. And of course, they're going to roll a one or more. You have to be able to roll a one or more. And the Blue Jays player is out. They've been placed out because they risked it for the biscuit. They tried to get that three base run in. And they were close. They were close, but... It just didn't work out. It didn't work out for them. And that's pretty much how the game's played. That's pretty much everything you got for the game. If you land on any of the numbers that are just a circle, so if you land on 7, 9, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, or 1, then that is deemed an out. The outfielder just catches that ball and you're automatically out. However, if you land on any of the clouds, uh, being 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 3, and 4, or you land on any of the stars in the outfield here, being 23, 6, 14, 25, 15, 26, 8, 16, or 24, then that is a ball that's in play. And that's when you're going to start doing your rolls, trying to go around bases. And the granddaddy of them all, if you roll anything from 27 or above, all the way up to 36, you get a home run. And that's really where the, the, <laughs> the big, big plays come in. Now, I do believe you would need all six dice to be able to do that, correct? 6, 12... 24, 26. So you don't need to have all five, uh, all six dice to be able to get a home run. However, you do need to have really good rolls with just uh, five dice to be able to get a home run. But anything from 27 and above is a home run. You score, you score, uh, I was going to say a goal. It's not a goal. You score a point for your team. 
uh, and play continues. As soon as three players get out on a team, the roles are reversed and the opposing team now gets to play the offense while the team who was just a bat now gets to play the defense. And you do this like a regular baseball game for nine innings and whoever has the most points at the end of the game ends up being the winner. And that's pretty much it for dice ball. Um, I know this is just a baseball, like this is just a baseball board game, but as far as baseball board games go, I've, I've played a few. I want to say I played at least two or three and this is the most exciting one that I've played. This is the most exciting one that I've played. And I know that that sounds a little ridiculous to, to enjoy a sports baseball game, but I like baseball. I like baseball. I am not a stats person. I don't keep up with trades and stuff like that, but I like the sport of baseball. So I don't know. This works for me. And as you can tell, I've, I've, I've kind of been exaggerating a little bit while I'm playing the game, kind of hyping stuff up. If you can find someone to play this game who can get into the spirit of it, I think that 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 can really elevate the uh, that can really elevate the the experience. If you can get hyped and get into it, you hit those home runs, you hit those ground balls into the outfield and you just get pumped like, yeah, we're going to do it. Our team's going to win. I don't know. It's it's a good time. It's a good time. But that is uh, more or less it for dice ball. I just realized I didn't have the uh, box up in the corner here like I usually do. I like having it up there so people can kind of see what we're talking about, just in case it's not uh, evident by the board or anything like that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for dice ball. Uh, if you guys have played dice ball, let me know what you think uh, down below. Do you enjoy it? Uh, is it too slow for you? Is it the right amount of sports for you? Do you also get super pumped to play a sports board game? Um, if this video made you want to maybe look into dice ball, let me know that down below too. It's always nice to see what games people decide to try out based on what we take a look at uh, in our videos. If you guys are on Instagram, uh, Come give us a follow over at Board Games Are For Everybody on Instagram. We post photos of games that we're playing. We post photos of games that we pick up outside of the monthly pickup videos here on YouTube. So it's just kind of a chill place to come, uh, come experience the stuff that we're playing and let us know what you're playing as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully I will see you all next time. But until then, just remember that board games are for everybody. And until then, peace.